Richmond International Raceway has been a part of NASCAR since 1953. It was a half mile long dirt track until 1968 when it was first paved. In 1988, the track was redesigned to a D-shaped three quarter of a mile oval and it's been like that ever since. NASCAR comes to Richmond twice each year and since 1999, all of those races have been held at night. The drivers really love coming to Richmond because it's got a wide, smooth surface that gives them plenty of room for side-by-side -side racing. That wide surface really helps when you come up on slower traffic too because unlike Martinsville or Bristol, you have plenty of room here at Richmond to get through those back markers without getting held up too much. The track only has 14 degrees of banking in the corners, so it's another one of those tracks that can be murdered on the right front tire. If you can make yours last, you'll be in good shape. Smooth driving and a soft right front suspension will definitely help preserve that rubber, so keep the tire squealing to an absolute minimum. Okay, let's get in and take a ride around Richmond. We cross the start finish line right up against the wall, doing about 130 miles an hour. When you get to the second caution light after the start finish line, quickly roll out of the throttle and apply about a quarter brake. Brake just long enough to slow the car down and start working down to the apron line. As you enter turn one, aim for the second lane up from the apron while you keep guiding the car down. You should be riding the brake just until you hit the broken white lane markers in the corner. At that point, come off the brake and let the car coast through turn one. At the apex of one and two, you'll be doing around 95 or so and you should be right near the apron line. Quickly bring it back up to full throttle through turn two and let it drift up to the wall. When you hit the top of the back straight, you'll want to be right around 120. Keep it at full throttle down the straight until you reach the groove that leads into turn three. Again, you want to quickly roll out of the throttle and give it about a third break to get the car set and slow down for turn three. As you enter the corner, roll out of the break and work the car down to the apron line. Let the car coast as you reach the apex. You'll dip down to about 95. Right at the apex, quickly roll the throttle back on. You'll want to be at full throttle by the time you clear the pit road wall on the left. As you exit turn four, let the car drift out to the wall, but watch out because the back end may try to come around, so be prepared to counter steer. At the top of the front stretch, you want to be running close to 120 miles an hour. Try to stay close to the wall as you get back to the start finish line to end the lap. Okay, let's take another lap, but this time we won't pause the action. Good laps will be just a tick over 22 seconds here. When the tires wear, this place can get really slippery, so be careful getting back in the throttle coming off of turn four. And that wraps it up. Remember, take full advantage of that wide surface. There are all kinds of alternate racing lines out there, so take time to learn them. Be real careful with those brakes. Turns three and four in particular will require some heavy braking, so be careful that you don't lock them up and flat spot your tires.